Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Well today uh, I'm going to show how I made this a thank you card. This is part of a series, series I've done all week and this is the last one and it is for Stampin' Up's charity or for the homeless people. Not for the homeless people, it's for the volunteers who help the homeless people. I think I've got that right. Um, so to make this card all I've done is cut strips of coloured card that kind of go together and watermark, use Versamark on this instead of having to use every single colour. This idea come from my upliner Katie Freeman. She had us make one of these in card gloss. And I liked it and I thought, oh, I'll make one. Obviously I don't have the stuff that she has. Well, I had the stamps and the card. But this bit, she used a smaller one. But this is out of um, Petal Parade. Uh, pe petal Palette, sorry. So I just cut that out. So to make this card, you need a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded and a half and burnished, which I've already done. Two pieces of Whisper White. This is thick Whisper White, this one. Not my usual card base. Um, two pieces of Whisper White at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Five strips of card. Now, I am going to go with... I'll pick them up. I have got, right, first one is powder pink. Move that. So I've got powder pink, blushing bride, flirty flamingo, calypso coral, and berry burst. And I thought they all went quite nice together. I hope so. So what we're going to do is stamp in Versamark, thank you. Now to get them all in a line, I'm using my stamp positioner. I've already lined up the stamp. So, and I know it's got to go on number one on the grid paper. Put my magnet on, don't need that one. And with my Versamark ink, ink it up, stamp it down. You can't see it, so we do it again. Each one has to be done three times. And I should have really done these beforehand. But, is that straight? Let me see. Not very straight. It's better. Start again. If I'd done it beforehand, I would have known it wouldn't wasn't straight as better. So keep inking them up until you can see it. I think three is enough. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. And that's all you've got to do. And it just do all five strips. This would be a lot easier on you um, if you've got one of them, what are they called, Stamparatus? Wouldn't be easier, it'd be just the same as this. But it'd be hard to do it without something like this, trying to get all the thank yous in the same position on each strip. Mm. 
when we did it in class we used Katie's um, Stamparatus I haven't got one of them because I've got this one don't need to buy another tool when it's exactly the same as this one This um, stamp position is a Hampton Art stamp positioner. Stamp Perfect. St yeah, it's made by Hampton Art. It's a Stamp Perfect stamp positioning tool. And I got it from Amazon. In America, you'll be able to get it in your craft shops, I think. Michael's, is it? Is it Michael's? I think I've heard people say they got them from before they were taken off the shelf for copyright purposes, but they are now back out because it is so much like Misty. When I did get it, the hinges squeaked like mad. Dead annoying. And then I um, think I washed them with a baby wipe. But it did stop. Right. That's them all done. Clean my stamp. Take it off. And put the foam back in. You only use this if you're using photopolymer stamps. And put it away. Right, finish with that. And bring our card piece back in. And these we just stick on here in the way you want them. That one and that one. And then at the bottom we're going to stamp using Butterfly Gala. We're going to stamp thank you so very much. I'm going to stamp that in Berry Burst. So we're going to stamp that down here. Nice. My butterfly gala once stained. I have to try a gainer on that. The way she bleaches her stamps. Right, let's glue these down. And use our grid paper to line them up. So I'm going to go with that line. It doesn't matter if they hang over because um, we can trim them after we put them down. So this one, I'm going with that line. I want On the other one I used um, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, 
Balmy blue mint macaron. God, I can't remember. That's soft sea fern. Pool party. I remember these which ones which I think that's mint macaron and that is oh I don't know I can't remember oh that's annoying me now what colour is that Oh, that's going to play on my mind till I find out what colour it is. There we are. Oh, it's no good. I've got to find out. I've got a swatch ring here. Made ages and ages ago, so right that one's mint macaron. What colour is that one? That's soft sea fern, I know that. That's pool party, or is that pool party? Let's have a look. This pool party. So that one's pool party. That's Barmy Blue Mint Macaron pool party. What colour is that? Soft sea foam. Oh, I think I used some soft sky. I bet that's soft sky. Yep. Sorry about that. Yeah, I must have had a piece of soft sky and I used that. But these colours are all in. So, next we've got to stick on this. Now, what I did with this, because this leaf here went over the thank you, I chopped it off. So that went on like that, and then I added this leaf up here. So I didn't waste it. So let's pop some glue on this. You just need little spots to hold it down. If you've got that fine tip glue, that'd be ideal for this, but I don't. Or um, uh, a glue pen. Never thought of that. Could have used that. Right. This down, move that a minute. And then we're going to add the bit I chopped off. Don't want to 
waste it. Just put it up against the other branch. And it'll look like it's supposed to be there. Right, uh, add this to our card front. Oh no, need to trim these off. You have any bits overhanging? Just trim them all. A bit this side. That's it. And we glue this on the card. For some reason. This card's the wrong size. Hmm, it's five of seven eights. Huh, so is this. I'm just going to trim this down. I won't be a minute. my guillotine. That's better. Obviously forgot to cut down the length of the... that would be too big and all. I should do the inside. The inside is just plain. Oh no, I did a thank you. So I should do that off camera. I hope you like them. I will do the inside of this one once I've chopped it down to the right size. Mind you, I can stamp the thank you. And chop it down afterwards. Yeah. Right. Close that up. I'll just sit that inside. And there you have them. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe and press the notification button, bell button, and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So this week, they've been every day. And this is the last one of my batch of 10 cards to make. Oh, I hope you like it then. All I can say is thanks for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.